I'm Sakura. I'm always looking for the real thing. Now, let me present to you. This time, I'll show you Japan quality. We're going to see Japan's first welded railroad bridge, the Mizuho Bridge. First, let me explain the location. This is where we're going to Mizuho Pier. And Yokohama Station is here. I'll also show you some of the famous tourist spots in Yokohama. Sakura Gicho is here, and the Red Brick Warehouse is here. Yamashita Park is here. The straight line from Yokohama Station to Mizuho Pier is about 2 kilometers. This is where the US military facilities are located. Did you know that? By the way, Cotton Harbor is here, and the view of Mizuho Pier from there is like this. The bridge we're going to visit is said to be returned from the US military, and will be dismantled soon. Before explaining the bridge itself, let me tell you a little more about the history of this area. This is the Mizuho Pier, originally built for trade, but after World War II it was turned into a port facility for the US military and used as the Yokohama North Dock. This track was also used by the US military, and is connected to the Takashima Line, a cargo track. However, in 2021, it was decided to return the land to Junior Freight, the landowner, as it is no longer in use. The reason why the US military used this line was to transport supplies to Atsugi Air Base. If you look at the map, you can easily see that Atsugi Airfield is here. Mizuo Pier is here. The tracks are connected to the Takashima Line, and the black part is the freight line. The blue part is the junior line to the Sotetsu Line. Originally it was used for freight lines, but recently it has been connected to the Sotetsu Line, and the Hazawa Yokohama National University Station has been built. The red area is the Sotetsu Line, which used to connect Sagami Atsuka Station to the Atsugi Air Base. However, it is no longer needed because there is no demand for rail transportation. Now let's take a look at the Atsugi Base side. There used to be a dedicated track from Sagami Atsuka Station on the Sotetsu Line to the Atsugi Base. It has already been returned to its original use. Okay, so let's head towards the bridge. Here's what we're going to go through. From Yokohama Station, we'll take Route 15. At the intersection in front of Agashi Kanagawa Station, turn right to get to Mizuho Pier. Then, just keep going. So, let's get back to this bridge. Mizuho Bridge is one of the 100 best bridges in Kanagawa. It is the fifth bridge on the list, as you can see from the URL. This bridge was the first welded railroad bridge in Japan, and a document from the Japan Society of Civil Engineers explains it in great detail. The old bridges we often see have a truss structure, where steel and iron are held together with rivets. This is the truss structure with warts on the steel plates. Note that the plate gutters were welded on the Mizuho Bridge. This is the lower part of the bridge. In the Mizuho Bridge, the lower part of the bridge is made of plate gutters and the upper part is made of truss structure. You can learn more about plate gutters from the Cosmo Geekin website. I didn't know this technical term. I'll post the link in the summary section. I learned for the first time in my research that welding is better than riveting. Some of the advantages are as follows, reduced weight of the bridge, reduction of workload, less noise during assembly, complex shapes can be made. However, the quality of the steel and welding rods was poor at that time, and welding had the disadvantage of being vulnerable to impact. In fact, 102,624 welding rods were used in the construction of the Mizuho Bridge, and it is said that the welded bridge was built on a trial basis for the future. In this sense, it is one of the bridges that supported the modernization of Japan. Let's take a closer look. The paint has fallen off and there's a lot of rust on the bottom here, but there's no sign of rivets, which means it was all welded together. 
I guess it requires a lot of precision work, and this is how they built up their skills. I also think that all the complicated shapes were welded. I think this is a masterpiece from the 1930s. The more I look at this, the more amazing it becomes. It's made of many steel plates stacked on top of each other to form a complex shape. You can see that they were very conscious of strength. If you take a closer look, you can see the actual welding process. Incidentally, here is the truss structure. This is also a work of art, with lots of rivets used. Well, this track is still intact up to the Takashima line of the freight line. I'll try to follow it a bit. You can't see the tracks around here, but you can still feel the atmosphere. A little further on, there is a level crossing that is no longer in use, and behind it is the Takashima line. This is the Takashima line, which is still in use. I was in a hurry to take this picture because a cargo train was just coming. There are a lot of oil cargoes running around here. Finally, here's a shot of the area around the bridge, where two bars stand side by side, the famous bars that appeared in the famous TV show Abunai Deka. I'm 5 years old, so I've never been there. That's the end of the story for this time. Please look forward to the next story. Bye bye.